Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at distorting components without distorting the geometry inside. Was that description mysterious? Did that make you have to stick around and find out what I'm talking about? So when you create geometry, you can always use things like scale or, or move or rotate to change uh, where that geometry is, how it looks. When you create a component, you create two levels of potential, potential modifiable geometry. So you could always go into a component and change it. We know components are linked together, so if you change what's inside one, they all change. Or you can change the outside, the component wrapper, and what's inside will stay the same. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. I do, of course, have to give credit where credit is due. This is something that I saw our forum user box uh, Sage over on the SketchUp forums do in a GIF, and uh, it just got me to thinking about, you know, what was being shown there. So here I got this shape. I got this, I just kind of created a 2D shape out of arcs and then, you know, did a little bit of auto fold to kind of poke it out. Simple shape like this. I have it selected. It is currently a solid component. Solid part's not really important for what I'm showing. Component is. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab by this corner right here. And I'm going to put this in the corner of my frame right here. So this is just, you know, again, wall with an arc on there, kind of emulating a window. It's kind of the thing we're looking at here. And there we go. That goes in there. Um, I want to make a run of these across and just have them fill the width of the window. So I'm going to grab one copy. Uh, I'm going to modify key, option or control to copy it over. Hit scale. And I'm going to scale to negative one. And then, oh, that was close. Look at that. Dang, that might have been perfect. <laughs> Move that one so it directly connects right there. Then we grab both of them, grab them from here. Again, modifier to copy to here, and I'm going to type 2x. All right, so there we go. So I got my first issue here. Of course, this is too big. This isn't. This wasn't created in even increments or anything like that. So uh, I could do a couple things. One is I could figure out. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could take this edge, for example, and divide that into six pieces, and then take this length, and then, oops, take that length right there, go into this component, open it up, uh, grab this geometry, squish it back so it matches. I could do a whole bunch of stuff there to make sure that's, that's perfect, but what I will choose to do instead, I'm going to grab one of these real quick and set it over here, just a copy. So this is our master, our master, uh, geometry. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to grab all of these right there. I'm going to hit scale. Spin around back. I can see it's a little bit easier. There's my scale. I'm just going to scale them to the window. I'm also going to make them a little bit thicker this way. Fill up that window. And I'm going to bring them down. Make them a little bit shorter. So that's, that's more what I'm looking for. But notice over here, I just re- uh, imagined, <laughs> recreated, uh, totally adjusted the geometry in the window, this piece over here didn't change at all. It's still the same component. So if I grab all of these and grab all six of these, and I'm going to click right here, modifier key to copy, I'm going to bring that up just to about where the where that arc ends right, that arc ends right there. And I'll take those and I will scale those vertically, make them stretch up a little bit more like that. Cool. All right. And then I will copy those again. Option. I'm just go to right where that arc ends, right there. Where is that? There we go. And then maybe I'll scale that third one so it comes just almost to the top. So there we created out of this one component three different sets of geometry. And my original geometry is still the same. So why does this matter? Why does it matter if this is still the same? Well, if I did want to come in and, I don't know, maybe I wanted to paint it or I wanted to make uh, a change to the way the arcs worked or something like that. Um, I don't know. I'll probably make a horrible mess here. But if I grab these two and I scale and I just kind of squish those down. So if I want to do something like that, if I come over here, that's reflected all the way through. See, those arcs are now pulled wider because I changed this one. So I can kind of automatically come in and adjust all of that. 
one of the pieces that's bugging me right now is this this extra line we have in here. Uh, like the last video, we talked about this too. I can always come in here, delete this bottom face, grab these bottom lines, and hide them. And then that, that gets cleaner. But uh, yeah, so by keeping this as a component and distorting the outside of the geometry, you can do things like have these pieces repeat like that. And then manipulating the interior geometry, what's inside the component, will then scale to match the deformations you've made on the outer shell, the component, to give you unique geometry. So kind of a cool, quick and easy way. Maybe, maybe I'll take these, slide it down a little bit, and grab this top set, and scale that up even, even, oops. Scale that up even a little bit more. There we go, I like that better. Oh yeah. So, I'm sorry, I'm playing now, but you get the idea. You can create unique geometry from one piece of, of geometry and then make changes, manipulate that, make huge rippling changes uh, just by changing that specific geometry. I bet I could even change it back. So if I come in here, if I grab these two and I hit scale and let's see, bring them back up. Oh no, I didn't, I didn't scale those parts. I scaled these parts. Yeah, so cool thing to play with. Get you some self, yourself some neat, unique geometry based on deforming a single component. So that was kind of a fun one. Like I said, I saw what Box made when he created his thing, and he did the same thing where he just created one geometry. I think it was kind of similar shape uh, and just super cool. And I was just thinking, well, like, how? what else could you do with that? And uh, yeah. Just a fun way to, to do that. Remember, the geometry inside the component can change. That will affect everything. But manipulating the component itself, the shell, the, the container, will only affect that specific instance. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here. You'll be notified of all of them and our live streams if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, let me know what you think of that. Like I said, it was a little weird one. It was a little off the normal training path, but uh, we like to mix it up around here. Do you have a tip like that that you think would make a good skill builder? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.